I'm currently working on a bigger project and I tried to decrease my render time because I had some struggles with it. Actually it was around 15 to 60 minutes each frame and the final animation will be something around 1 to 3 minutes and that would take weeks or even 1 or 2 months. So after weeks of burning my PC hardware, I found this mind-blowing setting change by accident. I'm sure you all know the noise threshold and most of you, like me, thought the lower the value, the better is the quality of your rendered image. But also it increases the render time. I mean that's right. The standard setting is 0.01 with a sample count of 4069 and in general you will get a nice looking render. But it takes some time. In my case something around 23 minutes. And that's totally okay if you have a single image or maybe a very short animation, even this is manageable. But not if you have a multiple minute animation time. Because I'm not Pixar and have a huge render farm. So in general if the image looks nice but the time is too high, you will increase the noise threshold to 0.02 and decrease the sample count and press render and see how it, how it is. It's 6 to 7 minutes and it's already starting to having some little artifacts in the darker areas. Normally you would increase the sample count to 2048 to solve this. This would take around 12 minutes for the final render. I mean that's an improvement but still way too much for a larger project. And normally you won't increase the threshold again because logically it will getting worse if we do so. But let's try it. 0.05. And yes, less time and more worse. Let's do it even higher. 0.1. Like the viewport settings. Even more worse. So, which idiot would increase this again? Yes, me. But it was a common mistake. So, I increased it to 0.25 instead of 0.025. And now let's see what happened. I rendered this image in around one minute and it's looking okay. I mean, not perfect, but okay. So, what will happen if we increase it even more? to 0 0.5. It's a little bit better. And now to the maximum, to 1. It's still around 1 minute and it looks it looks okay. It's a bit darker than the original one and some of the small detail are blurred out. But now the second part of the magic kicks in. Let's the sample count and the noise threshold as it is and double the resolution. And voila, the detail is back with a render time of around 2 minutes. You have reduced your re render time from 23 minutes to 1 to 2 minutes, depending on your detail level. And yes, that's it. I just wanted to share this awesome trick to you. I can't explain the technical side of this because it's more like an overcomplicating thing. I can't do it. <laughs> um, have a nice day and hopefully uh, it will help a lot of you. And see you next time. Bye bye.